attendance rates across multiple school districts have fluctuated over the past year. But numbers from the TEA show Brownsville ISD's daily attendance suffered throughout the pandemic. Local 23's Iris Karami spoke with educators who say they hope in-person learning brings their students back. I can't put my hand through a computer screen uh, to get you to work. You know, it's just, it's just impossible to do. According to Brownsville ISD, the 2018-2019 average daily attendance was around 40,000. But last school year, daily attendance dropped to 36,000. Uh, Day-to-day attendance, absolutely, it has changed. BISD reported that the 2020 school year lost 3,000 students from the year before. And Lopez Early College High School had the lowest attendance rates. Lopez High's principal says the pandemic forced some students to put education second. We have a lot of students that are working, uh, and they're working sometimes the whole day or half a day, so they don't log on. But schools depend on students' attendance for resources. We're really concerned about about what it's going to do to our to our budget. BISD has started a campaign to bring students back to the classroom. Currently, Lopez has 616 in-person students out of about 2,000, and teachers think in-person will help with attendance. And I really think it's going to benefit those. We can actually target those students in person rather than having to target them through a computer screen. Sanchez says that mental health has also affected students' participation. A mental awareness, a mental health awareness, I should say, has been one of the big proponents uh, for the last 12, 13 months of this pandemic. Though enrollment for BISD is on the decline compared to other schools in Cameron County, they are working to bring students back to the classroom. Putting Local First in Brownsville, I'm Iris Karemi.